Now we come to the part with how is breast cancer treated. So there are many treatments for cancers and the three pillars of cancer treatment are surgery, chemotherapy or hormonal therapy or targeted therapy and finally radiation therapy. We usually use two or more of these treatments in order to get the best results of our patient. Wherever the tumor is small and it is operable, we remove just the tumor, which is called as breast conservation surgery, or if the tumor is large and the patient does not want breast conservation, we opt for a surgery called as modified radical mastectomy. So these are the two main surgeries done for breast cancer. Is removing the lump safe? Yes, as long as radiation is given after that and the lymph nodes in the axilla are dressed, it is as safe as a mastectomy. We now come to the other part of treatment. Everybody is very anxious about chemotherapy, but not all patients with breast cancer require it. So your oncologist will look at your special features in your tumor after it has been removed and give you chemotherapy accordingly. Sometimes you may get four, sometimes you may get six, sometimes you may get eight cycles. These may either be given two weekly, three weekly, and there are some regimens which are once a week as well. Targeted therapy like trastuzumab or Herceptin, as it is commonly known, is used for all HER2 positive breast cancers and has made a tremendous difference to the outcomes and the results. Hormonal therapy is in the form of tablets. These are either tamoxifen or AIs. We will be talking more about them later in the series. And these are to be given for a period of five or 10 years. Now, uh, when we talk of radiation therapy, that is planned by the radiation oncologist. Not all tumors require radiation. When the lymph nodes in the axilla are found negative, you do not usually require radiation. If it's a small tumor, and uh, mastectomy is being done, you may not require radiotherapy. And radiotherapy today is done within, within 16 to 20 fractions. It is not as prolonged as five weeks as it was earlier. A very small subset of patients can also qualify for five days of radiotherapy, but you have to fit into some certain very strict criteria for this. So this in a nutshell explains the various treatments that are available today for breast cancer.